In this video, I'm going to do one simple example on solving, sorry, forming and solving simultaneous equation. Okay, so let's read the question. Two trees of fruit trees, apple and plums, are being planted in the nursery. 150 trees are to be planted together. The plum tree costs $12 per tree and apple tree costs $8 each. If 1456 is spent on trees, how many? Of plum trees. So first uh, let us do using a simultaneous equation. So let say A stand for the number of apple trees. Always good to start with uh, letting or substituting or uh, putting something in, in place of something that you want to find. So I'm letting A or substituting A as the number of apple trees uh, that are planted, okay? Uh, and P for the number of plum trees that are planted. So the first sentence is 150 trees are to be planted together. So what are they saying? They're saying the if you add the plum and the apple tree, it is 150. So the first equation is very simple, A plus P is 150. Okay, the second part is, the plum tree costs eight, $12 per tree, and apple tree costs $8. And 1456 is totally spent on the trees. So if A is the number of apple trees and P is the number of plum trees, and we know the cost of one plum tree, and we know the cost of one apple tree, and we know the total cost. I think you can uh, see about see the uh, equation. So eight times eight for the apple, eight is the cost per apple tree. So eight times the number of apple trees. So that is eight a plus twelve times the number of plum trees is one thousand four hundred and fifty six. So these are the this is the first stage where you have to form the two equation. Okay, so what can we do? We can do in different ways. I'm going to discuss two different ways, uh, and you can, uh, of course, there is, you can also do this in a graphical way, but I'm going to discuss two ways. One is the substitution method. So I'm going to first do the substitution method. So substitution method tells me the word itself is very clear. You have to substitute something. So I want to find, the question is how many plum trees are there? So I'm not interested in how many apple trees are there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write A, or the number of apple trees. I'm going to make A the subject, which is 150 minus P. In place of A, I can put 150 minus P. Okay, so I'm going to put this in this equation. I'm going to substitute A as 150 minus P in equation number 2. So this is 8 times 8 times A can be written as 8 times 150 minus P plus 12P is 1456. So 150, 15 times 8, okay, so 15 times 4 is 60, 15 times 4 is 90, am I right? Okay, my brain is not working, okay, I'll use the calculator, okay, so uh, yeah, when you are so dependent on calculator, at times your brain doesn't work. 150 times 8, my brain was not working. 115 times 4 is, yeah, I was right here. Yeah. 15 times 4 is 60, so 15 times 8 is 120. Okay, so it's 1200. This is 1200 minus 8p. You, have to, you are distributing 8 to both. 150. <coughs> excuse me, 150 and P plus 12P is equal to 1456. So let us simplify this. So this will become 1200 plus 4P 
is 1456. So if you take away 1200 from this side, you have to take away 1200 from this side. So what happens? So, so this and this gets cancelled. So 4P is 1456. Better to use a calculator. We are doing mistakes. So 1456 minus 1200 is 256. 256. So if you divide this side by 4, you can divide this side by 4. So 256 divided by 4 is 64. Plum trees, what? So, so P is 64. Okay, so now it's always good to check the answer. Okay, so do, you should not leave at this step. Uh, this may be right, so let's check. So what is A plus P? A plus P is 150, and we wrote A is 150 minus P, which is 150 minus 64. Therefore, A is uh, 150 minus 60 is 90. 86 am i right yeah so a is 86 so if a is 86 and p is 64 uh this should satisfy the second equation so let us so what's the second equation uh 8a plus 12p so 8 times so 8 times 86 plus 12 times 64 should be 1456 so let me bring the calculator here delete 8 times 86 plus 12 times 64 is 1456 so your answer is right okay i told you i'll discuss the second method which is called the elimination method so let me copy this much copy and i'll do the next page paste oh uh, yeah cool so this is the first equation and this is the second equation now if you want to do by elimination methods i'm going to use the next method which is called elimination method In elimination method, what you do is you eliminate one of the variables. So I want to find the number of plum trees, isn't it? The number of plum trees. So I want to eliminate A. So how can I eliminate A? I'm going to make this A. If I make this A minus 80, uh, and then you add them, plus 80 and minus 80 will get cancelled. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this equation with negative 8. Okay, and this I'm not going to do anything. So the equation 1 changes to minus 80 minus 8p is equal to 15 times 8 is 120, isn't it? So minus 1200. And I'm going to write this as it is on top. That is 80 plus 12p is 1456 now i'm going to add them okay you are saying 80 plus minus 80 what will happen to 80 plus minus 80 that gets cancelled and this is this is 4p is equal to 256 that's what we got in the last example in a different way so P is uh, dividing both sides by 256 divided by 4. Okay, so we already did that. So let's do it again. 256 divided by 4 is 64. Okay, so we already checked the answer. So we need not check the answer again. So these are the two different ways. There's also one more way of graphing this. You can try it yourself. Okay, make it uh, as an equation. Okay, let us do the next method also uh, the graphical method okay so let us do the graphical method i think we can finish it off the third method is the graphical method the graphical 
method where you have to graph these two equations. So if you graph this, so if you write this, if you write, uh, if you want to make uh, P the subject here, mm, okay, so you can say P is 150 uh, minus A. And can I say, making, tw can I say the next equation, 12P is 1456 minus 8A. I can divide all by 12, I can say P is 1456 divided by 12 minus 80 over 12. So this becomes, I didn't plan this, so it doesn't matter. So 1456 one, one, divided by 12, 1456 divided by 12 is 121 and, so let us, let me leave that as it is and we will, so we'll leave this as, as it is and we'll use the graphic calculator to graph it. Okay, so let's see what happens. I'm not sure, but let, let me give me a try, give it a try. So this is 150 minus x, okay, so this is y and this is x. And this is 1456 divided by 12 minus 8x divided by 12. Okay, I will change the scale. I'll, I'll go from 0 to 100. Okay. 0 to 100 on x axis, a scale of say 10. And y axis, is x axis is for apple, and y p is for peach. So I'll again, I, because the negative value doesn't make sense, because here. Yeah, a and P should be positive. So I go in 10 and see what happens. Oops. So what did we do? Uh, scale of 10, yeah. Okay. Uh, let, let us make this a 200. Scale of 20. Uh, and uh, y from 0 to 200, scale of 20. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'm doing some mistake here. 1456 uh, divided by 12 minus 8x. Oh, yeah, there is a mistake. It's 1456 uh, divided by 12 minus 8x divided by 12. I was doing minus. That's why the problem. Here we go. So this is a point of intersection. You put G solve and intersection. That is 86, 64. When x, your apple is 86, and your y, which is p, is 64. So these are three different ways in which you can solve a simultaneous equation.